Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another really cool creation from the Steam Workshop. Now here in front of me is the Type S01 Missile Destroyer. And when I say Missile Destroyer, no, it's not just got missiles stuck on the front. This has got vertically launching tracking missiles it is absolutely fantastic we'll have a quick exterior tour we'll pop inside and then over there i've got some lovely targets both huskers base and lovely murloc joe's little fighter ship from the frozen world to see what these missiles do so if we actually have a look at the overall design it takes quite a square blocky type nature but you can see there's this real nice cut recess down the center that leads us to the two missile turrets on the side. We've got these cool little bits of ventilation detail there in the center as well. If you just have a quick glance through there, you can see that they've used the interior blocks inside there just to add a bit more detail. And we've got this real nice combination of both hydrogen and iron. Now, that combination is pretty damn good because if you run out of hydrogen, of course, you've got the iron as backup, and the hydrogen just allows the ship to maneuver and make its way around the server or a location a little bit more easier. So we've got the three stripes here at the front, and then we've got this interlacing sort of trellis effect down in the center, adding some structural support to two of these segments. Now, if we work our way along the top, we've got a nice tucked-in Gatling gun turret there to add a bit of protection to it, and we've got more thrusters tucked away real nicely. This thing would stand up in a fight, even though it's going to be designed or used at range with these missiles. So as it comes to the center segment here, we've got a selection of both catwalks and some of the mesh catwalks there in the center, and a little bit further up, we actually have the missiles in here as well. So and what I'm going to show you here, this is what the smaller missiles actually look like. But we'll take a little bit more of a detail. So then we've got missiles at the front and then we've got the decoy missiles here at the rear. Now we'll explain them and have a look at them a little bit further on after we go inside. So of course we've got the main hangar for that larger destructive device itself this big warhead here and all these warheads can be welded up as they go now as we come to the rear area we've actually got ourselves the targeting array so this is a selection of cameras of course one is none and they've got a plenty of cameras here so if one gets shot out you've got a few more that you can rely on and this is on this cool little joint bracket so you can aim it anywhere real nice indeed so we've got the rear thruster segment of the ship that kind of expands out we've got the iron thrusters at the top and we've got the hydrogen down at the bottom with these protective little skirts as well as this cool little fin down here at the bottom underneath we've got ourselves some solar a cool little radar array type thing they've set up down here with a bit of vented catwalks and we have another aiming module in case the target is below really nice indeed they also make some beeping noises as you're firing these There's a little speaker there at the back so as you fire the missiles and we've got the gatling gun there at the front now if we look under here we've got hydrogen thrusters just like we had on the top and that pretty much completes the exterior tour now if you just took a glance at this ship you'd think it's pretty standard and I'll, i like the idea of that i think it gives you a little bit of camouflage so let's actually spawn our character in we'll head over towards the ship we'll make access through the back door here We've got an airlock that is timed on a sequence. Aaron has interrupted the timing and that opens up the second door so you don't accidentally depressurize the whole place like Aaron tends to do. Seal that door up behind us, thank you. And the airlock should allow us to open this one. So we're actually currently in the main hangar bay. Now the main hangar bay here itself has these missiles. So this is quite a large missile. You can see it's got the computing block here that's requ required for the script. It's got the thrusters and it's got a gyroscope there so it can be guided towards the target. Some of these missiles are a bit different. Some of them launch like javelin type missiles if you know what's up, where they have a top down like attack. And the other ones launch pretty damn straight. We've got the decoy missiles here. So they've got a decoy type head here in the front that just drives some of the missile fire away from the other missiles and up front we actually have eight of these main warhead type devices these are pretty cool they're really destructive anyway enough of me yapping on let's get to the bridge so we're going to work our way to the bridge through here let the airlock seal up behind us thank you very much and we walk our way down the stairs so we've got some of these narrow catwalks in this section some backup power and that is pretty much it for the interior. It's a very simple interior. We've got the massive list of instructions and controls that I have briefly read. And we've also got the radar system there in front of us as well. We've also got the speed and acceleration. A few different modifications that I really like. So we've got the seat up here. So first off, we've got to make sure the hatches are open. These open and close with number 9 so you can seal them up when they're not in use. But the current moment in time, we're just going to keep everything open. 
Now, if we go to the G menu, you can also see the designators, so we can designate and repair the ship to fire from this menu. But we're going to go on to the second menu. Here, we have the designator prepped. We also have the missiles, so you can see we can launch all of the missiles here with this segment. If we go to the next menu, we can do the same again. We can launch the decoys with this segment very nice indeed and we have the features to weld them back up so enough of me yapping let's launch our first selection of missiles so we're going to grab ourselves the camera we need to find ourselves a target so as we move the camera into position this is what this um, gyroscope turn off feature is for so let's um, go back to menu one turn off our gyroscopes for the minute and we're going to pick our target very very carefully in fact you know what we want to probably move the ship all the way over here anyway so we can see the missiles come out the front but let's move my camera to the side and yeah that, sh that should be good that's a good sort of angle so we've got ourselves aimed in and we're prepared to launch so let's begin the sequence doors are open check missile one away launching missile two away missile three away missile four away missile five away so missiles are now going in towards the target they are tracking towards this ship you can see they do have some movement and control by me and we're going to have impact on the first target okay preparing any second now here we go it's going in look at that so damn cool that's two missiles on target let's see if we can twist this one off to the third one here oh we, we may have buggered it up but we could have had all missiles actually on target if Aaron wouldn't have changed the target in the last moment. There we go. Second one on target. Third one. Oof. So you can see what I mean. Two of them go straight towards the target and then the other hit later. Very nice indeed. That ship is in pieces. Very nice indeed. So let's launch some of our decoys. So the decoys are designed to distract enemy fire. And you're probably wondering, Aaron, can you turn some turrets on and see what happens when the missiles are fired at our working station? We'll do that in a moment. Um, so let's target this one with our decoys. Decoys away. There we go. Decoy two away. Decoy four, five, and six. There we go. That's all decoys launched towards the target now. Of course, we could turn our welders back on. So the decoys are doing the job. We can guide them around. We can wiggle them towards the target. I don't think these guys, these guys kind of do too much of an explosion, but they're good enough to distract the turrets. There we go. You can see just a deep direct impact there. Got the second missile coming in. There we go. Oh, that one hit a hydrogen tank. That's why there was such a large explosion with that one. Very nice indeed. So we actually have a mega missile now. So I'm going to bring the camera over to the side. We're going to go to the next menu, and we're going to lock the target up, and we're going to launch the big boy. So this is going to come out of the hangar here at the front. Launching big boy number one. And number two, both missiles are now away. So they are going towards that target there. I can't actually see them. Oh, there we go. There's the missile itself. Let's track this one in with the spectator camera. So they're going straight towards the target now. Are we going to have a miss? Uh-oh. We might have a miss. We might have had to go back, back, back out of the spectator camera. Oh, no. It's going straight to the target. There we go. Right having the bridge blown into pieces. Lovely. Where's the second one coming from? Now, the second one normally comes from like a top-down attack. Can't actually see it right here though. Maybe it's been misguided due to me having to look around somewhere else. I'm not seeing another explosion just yet. No. So maybe me jumping into spectator cam kind of brought that one off. But let's weld another one up. So with the camera itself, we can jump ourselves back over to the missile destroyer. And I'm going to launch them from this perspective now. So we're going to turn our welders back on. We're going to turn our projecting system on. And there we go. Our missiles are back online that bloody quick in that scary. So seven, eight, turn them off. Uh, cameras locked. Fire, fire. There we go. Missiles are going out towards the target. Okay, the second one doesn't seem to be guided at the moment. Maybe something's gone wrong with the scripts. But this first one is going straight towards the target. Or maybe it has to be locked up twice. Let's see what it hits this time. Look at that. That just that cruise feature is awesome. I know a lot of servers don't use scripts, including myself, just because they tend to bugger up the game. But with things like this, oh, wow, that ripped a hole inside that station. Let's attempt to weld up some of the smaller missiles that we've got here. So let's look at this one more time. So we're going to go to menu number one. We're going to select our target again. So we'll get our camera... Let's let's target that guy off in the distance. He's he's managed to evade it so far. 
Um, back to this camera. We're going to check out the welding bay. Let me just see if I can get myself inside here. Okay, now we're going to see what happens when we activate the projector. So that's all missiles back online and welding up. Wow, it is scary the efficiency that these missiles can be rebuilt. So let's get the projectors off. Okay, and seven off. Okay, oh, so you can view it from the camera as well. I didn't even know there was a camera there. Back to our view and prepare to launch. Let's launch these as fast as we can. Two, three, four, five, six. Woo! There we go. Look at them cruise off. One of them's gone up. Two of them are moving, tracking late. These guys look like they're going in first. To be honest, when you're firing these the first time, you can't even tell that they're going to hit. They just zoom into the target and look beautiful. So there's impact. One, two, three, and four. Completely destroyed. A lovely missile system this is. Now, it really isn't a good test unless the ship can defend itself. On top of that, this ship is going to be moving. So we've got a variety of Gatling guns, missile launchers, and interior turrets. This is one of the Enix ships, the Goblin, designed by Shuck. And we are stationed over here once again. Let's see if we can hit a moving target. And we launch. Okay, five and six. So that's all missiles going towards the target right now. So yep, they are falling straight towards it. Let's just aim it a little bit in front. So yeah, we are still controlling to a degree. Okay, missiles are going in. Let's see they're being intercepted. Yep, fire's going at them. Okay, destroyed before it impacted. Second one managed to land. Third one landed. The other two missiles got intercepted. So that was, I'd say, about three missiles with some sort of success. And for a large ship, that is a lot of damage. Now we've got the bigger missile to test. So let's get that going. So for our final test, we've got ourselves the big missiles to test out. But I think it's important that we actually test them with the decoys as well. So we've got the decoys on number three. Let's target them decoys in. Move the ship into position. Now we're going to launch two decoys first. So two, three, four, five, six. Let's 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 just let's just press all the decoys. And then we're going to launch the two big boys. So there we go. That's the two big missiles going towards the target now. So let's switch to spectator and see what happens. So here's the large ship. We can see that the turrets are already starting to open up and intercept the missiles. So these are the decoys it's currently shooting at. But you can see the missile turrets aren't told to target decoys. Oof. Still some good damage though to this ship. If you've got them decoys set up or you've got the missile turrets to target everything then the ship would certainly have some issues. But because the missile turrets weren't targeting the small grids, they didn't waste their ammunition and they only focused as soon as they saw the big one. A very, very cool ship indeed. I really like the idea of this. If somehow someone could vanillaize this without any scripts, that'd be fantastic. I'm sure it'd be an absolute plague on servers and it would destroy many, many ships. But for the moment, the combination of the vessel itself and the scripts are amazing. Keep up the good work. Make sure you let this creator know in the comment section what you think of their design, and I will see you next time.